The winter break has finished and Scottish Premiership action returns this week. It already started last night with Hearts versus Dundee, but I am here in the capital for Hibs versus Rangers. A big game between two teams who need the points for different reasons. Hibs have been on a little bit of a slide recently with their only two wins in their last five games coming against Forfa of League Two in the Scottish Cup and Livingston who are bottom of the Premiership. Rangers need the points because they want to obviously keep up the title race with Celtic. A lot to play for tonight, a lot on the line and this is a fixture that always excites me. One of the most iconic vlogs that I sort of always think back to was Hibs v Rangers here just like post-Covid when you could start coming back to grounds in full stadiums. I remember I had to show a vaccine passport and in that away end there, one of the most iconic last minute goals and limbs and the pyro and everything like that. A really, really big video um, that really helped my channel at a crucial time. Post COVID when it's still in a growth, um, still trying to grow it now obviously, but yeah, just came at a great time. Hibs v Rangers, always enjoy this fixture. Always a good bit of action, always a bit of needle between the two clubs as well. So hoping for a good game. Please hit that like button, subscribe if you aren't already. Let's get outside and speak to some fans ahead of the match. This is your third third time on the channel. Hat trick ball coming your way. <laughs> um, how would you say this season's going for Hibs? Uh, it's been up and down, um, touch and go. Uh, but I'm, 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 and now that we've got the, fin the, the, the signings coming in, plus we've got Amos in today as well. Yep. I'm looking forward to the second half of the season. And would you say things have? I, th I feel like the fans are a little bit more behind the team since the change in manager midway Definitely. through this season. Yeah. How would you say things have changed from your perspective when Lee Johnson was here compared to now with Nick Montgomery? Uh, you could uh, you can see you can see that the team are more eager to uh, win one but one win games, whereas under Lee Johnson, I mean, a bit more fighting the team. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, whereas under Lee Johnson, it was just like it was either, uh, it was just touch and go. Okay, and you never knew what Hibs were going to turn up. Exactly. Speaking of what Hibs turning up I feel like you often don't know what Rangers side are going to turn yeah. up a little bit this season a little yeah. bit more consistent under Clement but yeah. are you worried about playing Rangers today with the form that they're in yes and no um, I mean like they have got they have got dangerous players but they're also missing players today as well um, the only one you need to go shoot for is uh, Tavernier I'm uh, Stevie Clifford I do uh, Four Lights of the Dream and Rangers Review we're here to cover the game tonight for Fan Media and how would you say the last few months have gone since the League Cup final? I think since Philip Clement's come on overall there's been a massive uplift so it's been really enjoyable the players are playing well they're obviously responding but tonight's a big one you know you're always you know what it's like at Rangers you're always only as good as your last game mm -hmm. so we were okay on Saturday at Dumbarton I thought given that it was terrible conditions as we both know yeah 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 we're both there yeah. yeah the pitch was awful the wind the, the rain everything so I thought we did okay so I'm hoping that we can bring it in the same kind of form tonight. And it's post-winter break, obviously. This is your <laughs> first game back in the Premiership. Yeah. There'll be no winter break next season, yeah. though. What do you make of that? Uh, well, considering we always seem to come unstuck at this point, then I actually didn't mind it too much. Yeah. But just keep the like, momentum going. Yeah, right? this is probably why it's such a big game tonight. It feels like, you know, if Rangers can just go over the line tonight, maybe away to St Mirren, then they have a run of 8 and 11 or at home, and it could be a big swing. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, tonight's a big one it's going to be a really difficult game Hibs are a good side to be fair they play good football so I'm looking forward to it and it's been quite a topsy-turvy season for the top two in Scotland in terms of like the title race it looked like Celtic would win it fairly easily then they went on a poor run and now you've had a little bit of a slide when they've looked like they've had a few mm. good results and stuff what do you think Rangers have got to do to be able to win the league and do you still I, believe they can win it? Yeah of course of course I think it's going to be close that's for sure Celtic are still favourites rightly they're the champions they're playing decent stuff in the last few games for the split so no problem with that but I think from Rangers point of view you need to be more consistent Do you think Hibs will finish in a European place this season? Uh, I hope they do I hope they do because oh. I've been told we signed a rally player uh, some point this afternoon Okay, nice so, A few coming in the door this January then? Yep, well we've got a player we signed to last night Yep um, And he's on the field tonight Oh, he's going to be playing, okay, Aye. cool And so, what's the score going to be today, what do you reckon? 5-0 uh, to Hibs 5-0 to Hibs, mate, good luck <laughs>
A huge thanks once again to Hibs for the access they always give me here at Easter Road, one of the most welcoming clubs in the top flight. Please do check out their YouTube channel. I'll link it in the description box below. Make sure you go and subscribe. I'll be buzzing if we can go and run the numbers up on the Hibs channel, linked in the description box below. Ian, not much of a winter break for you. You were telling me you've been obviously commentating down south, but there's been a winter break in the Premiership in Scotland, obviously. How do you think the second half of the season's going to go? Yeah, it seemed to go quickly, and we're not getting one next season. I'm all for that. Yep. Let's just carry on playing football. Um, it's going to be interesting. A uh, big one tonight for, for the teams that are playing, actually. Aberdeen at St. Johnson, um, Hibs Rangers here. It's just good to have it back, really, although it, it seemed to go quite quickly for me, and I'm, I'm terrible usually when there's no game on. Yeah. I just want to go to a game and all that, yeah. as is the case tonight. But uh, now we're back in full swing now, and February's looking at a bit busy. Games galore, which will help decide a few matters. And what have you thought of Hibs since Nick Montgomery replaced Lee Johnson? Yeah, they've been a bit uh, hit and miss. I quite like what he's trying to do, though. And maybe now he's starting to get the players in to play to the, the way that he wants to play. Yep. Although it's hard in January, well, we say it's hard in January to get players in. He actually has brought a few in, so... Brought more in than Rangers so far. Yeah, so, so yeah. far. I mean, <clears throat> I think it'll be a big week ahead, certainly for Rangers and Celtic. Maybe one or two others. Um, still plenty of time to get a few players in yet. Yeah, and yeah. obviously, the Rangers losing Seema, they, they need to somehow replace... He's been their player of the season well, as well. What a terrible sign, yeah. Well, him and his goals, and, yeah. uh, you know, he's going to be such a big loss. And how do you see Rangers playing today? Fabio Silva is obviously starting his first game for the club. Yeah, I'm really interested to see how he does. Um, saw a little bit of him at Wolves, but not enough really yeah. to form an opinion. Um, so with Makosu and Matondo as well, with, with their pace. Um, it's going to be an interesting one, this. Um, I'd probably lean a bit towards Rangers, as most people naturally do. Yeah. But they also play anyone. But uh, like I say, an unknown quantity starting for Hibs, unknown yeah. to us anyway. And you never know, we'll see what happens. So the game I mentioned earlier, the Rangers fans had some amazing pyro that day and uh, very, very similar just there at Easter Road. Really good atmosphere in here from the Hibs fans and the Rangers fans. Huge chance for Hibs with two minutes in. Oh, and a big save from Butland. Look at a roar from the Hybees. swinging corner, CJ Nova will be happy. Oh, he almost would have been very happy there. It's Ridvan Yilmaz. Wasn't expecting the Turkish left back to pop up and be the man to score here, but there you go, 1-0 Rangers as you can see.
We're in stoppage time of the first half. And that's a great goal from Campwell. Filming, I wasn't even expecting Campbell to uh, run through and hit it from there, but a really good strike from him. I don't know if Marshall could have saved it, I'm not sure, I'm going to have to look at it back. It didn't look like it was right in the corner. But yeah, it's been a dominant first half for Rangers, saying that Hibs are just going forward now, and that is half time. 2 0 to Rangers, dominant performance. Their fans are buzzing, Hibs fans not so much. Second half kicked off, had a pie at half time. We got ourselves a tea for the second half, and I very rarely promote my own socials on my YouTube videos. But yeah, if you want to give me a follow, then uh, yeah, please do. Footy Dot Adventures on on Instagram. I post updates, look, as you can see from the games, Twitter to the Sam North. Yeah, look, always posting updates and things related to the channel and football. There, Sharp Div. Um, yeah, would really appreciate it. if you go give me a follow. That'd be amazing. What's Matondo? Dancing feet into the side net. Oh, what a save, Butland. Oh, he's denied him a debut goal as well. Oh. If Hibs don't score that, then they're never going to score today, are they? haven't been without their chances today, to be fair to them. Oh, it's him and it's Dessers. He's just come on as a sub. Will it count as an own goal? I'm not sure. But with 15 or so, uh, 17, 18 minutes to go, Q mass exodus from the home fans. has it in the net but I think it's been disallowed for offside yep it has could have been four and look at that the HFC is becoming really visible here And there we have it. I really feel like that second part of the season now has really kicked in. Winter break's done. Thanks for all the um, support on the No Rest for the Wicked campaign, by the way. It went really well and I couldn't appreciate the support anymore on all the lower league stuff. But yeah, good to be back here with the Premiership today. I've just run up a couple of flights of stairs, so I'm a little bit knackered. But um, yeah, really good atmosphere in here today. Mainly from the away fans, which you see obviously a lot in Scotland when Celtic and Rangers both play away from home but Rangers will be happy with that three points on the board avoided any banana skin any drop points here um, and can kick on now and challenge Celtic for the title Hibs on the other hand 
lucky I suppose Aberdeen didn't win tonight it was one all at St Johnston um, they're going to want to go for a top four spot top five spot aren't they European spot obviously um, so yeah for them the hard work continues Nick Montgomery a few new signings played today so like Ian said Ian Croker when we interviewed him earlier um, Nick Montgomery's trying to get his own players in to play his own brand of football so what happens with Hibs I'm not sure um, I'm not much of a good luck charm here at East Road Hybees I'm sorry I love coming here one of my favourite places to film is Edinburgh specifically this stadium and look how nice it is such a well-kept stadium I love coming here but yeah just uh, I don't think I've seen Hibs score here for so long I saw them beat St Mirren here last season um, but obviously they've lost here today they lost the Edinburgh Derby when I was here recently so please Hybees don't get on at me too much it isn't my fault um, but yeah I'm sure I'll come here and see you win at some point soon I hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you have let me know uh, some Scottish clubs you want me to cover next look there's John McLaughlin walking off um, as the stadium empties out here and I'm gonna empty out the stadium as well thank you so much for all the support I'm gonna leave a couple of videos on screen how about Hibs fans here's when you won I did match day hospitality and you actually beat St Mirren I'm pretty sure it's St Mirren so do go back and watch that video if you want to see me actually see Hibs win and Rangers fans I'll leave an iconic Rangers video the old Hibs one the one from the last time that I've already mentioned if you want to check that out as well Kemar Roof's late penalty then uh, yeah please click there right now cheers lads and goodbye